Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm here with Richard. And guys, we are going to talk about the injury of Josh Hamilton. But before we get to that, Richard, what is going on, man? Not too much. Thank God I didn't draft Josh Hamilton on my fantasy team. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is going to be out for six to eight weeks, if I'm right. Am I right, Richard? Yep, yeah, that's, that's what they're saying, six to eight weeks. And it's an injury. Is this the same injury that he has had? No, this is uh he last season he had a rib injury which he missed most mostly all of September. Um, this time he has he has a small and non displaced fracture in his humerus bone, which is just below his right shoulder. Um, there was a play where there was a pop up into foul territory where Brandon Inge and the catcher Alex Avila met up. Brandon Inge got it. Uh, Josh Hamilton was at third base waiting and his third base coach told him to go. That's what Josh says anyway. And he went, and they um, pretty much collided at home plate, and Josh came up right, and uh, we we're now finding out that he was fractured and humorous. So. so, what the Rangers, they're picking up where they came up, where they left off last year, near the end of the season with their hitting dominance, and their uh, key pitcher was uh, Cliff Lee at that time. Will this affect... With Josh Hamilton being injured, will this affect the team's winning? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit. Uh, not, not as much as everybody thinks. Because, um, I mean, they do have guys um, like David Murphy who can step in. And, uh, you know, David Murphy is a pretty scrappy guy. Um, you know, he'll, uh, he doesn't, he, uh, he's, he's a pretty balanced guy. doesn't hit for a lot of power, but... Um, yeah, I think that they'll be okay. Uh, I don't think that they're going to be completely lost to Hamilton since he has only played, in the past two seasons, only played 222 games um, and only 10 this year and about to miss probably two months. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think the, the Rangers are completely lost. I think that they'll be okay. So, hear me, this guy's going to be losing a chunk of games over two months of the season. Uh, he could be missing maybe four months because it's about four months a week, uh, four months and one in one month, and he's gonna be missing. He could be missing a, he could be missing three months of action. That is a lot. And well, this guy comes back from the DL. He's been placed on the 15-day DL. Do you think if he's still not healthy, will they be placing him on the 60-day DL, or will, will, he, will he return back to the 15-day? Uh, like it's a small fracture. Um. He's not even going to be involved with any action as far as swinging a bat for about a month. Um, but, you know, the Rangers are pretty much saying they expect him back in two months. Um, yeah, I, I think that I don't think he'll be placed on a 60 to 80 L unless, unless they find out more extensive injury to cause it. Alright, so. Being, I'm not being a, not a big Josh Hamilton fan. Not a huge uh, Rangers fan. I'm an Angels fan. Um, personally, I hope that Josh comes back. I actually have him on my fantasy league, and I'm gonna I put him on the DL already since I when I heard about this. So, um, Richard, to all you fantasy players, um, who is a good pickup right now to replace Hamilton at your outfielder position or the utility? Oh uh, well, there's a lot of good pickups. Um, uh, David Murphy, like I said, um, a guy who will step in probably for quite a while. Um, you know, guys like Sam Fold, who after his enormous performance here, the nice should see a little bit more playing time. Um, if you have a lot of outfielders, uh, you can look in the direction of maybe uh, Travis Hafner, or uh, he's been swinging the bat pretty hot lately. Um, there's a lot of pretty good options, but I'd say that uh, David Murphy would be a pretty solid option. Um, but uh, yeah. Do you remember, I, you, know, you said utility as well, so uh, Travis Hafner, uh, he's just swinging a hot bat, and he's hitting like 355, doing much better. Um, guys like Sean Rodriguez, um, he, he's going to soon be eligible for third base, probably. If that means he'll be eligible for second base, third base, and the outfield, a lot of versatility there. Um, don't be, don't feel like you're completely lost on Hamilton. There's a lot of replacements. Yeah, so... Uh, listen to Rich. I mean, this guy really knows baseball. He knows his fantasy baseball. So, 
you'd go really well if you picked up um, those guys. So, Josh Hamilton out six to eight weeks. Will he be healthy when he comes back? Uh, will this affect his game? I don't really know for sure until I actually see how he does in his first game back. So, we'll all see. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Watch some baseball. Enjoy your week. And talk to you guys soon.